Chapter 3, Trapped. Even though Ralph woke up feeling sick and dizzy, his first thought was of the motorcycle. He hopped, hoped it was not broken. He sat there at the bottom of the wastebasket until the whirly feeling in his head stopped and he was able, slowly and carefully, to stand up. He stretched each achy muscle and felt each of his four legs to make certain it was not broken. When Ralph was sure that he was battered, but intact, he examined the motorcycle. It set, he set it upright and rolled it backward and forward to make sure the wheels still worked. One handlebar was bent, and some of the paint was chipped off the rear fender, but everything else seemed all right. Ralph hoped so, but there was no way he could find out until he figured out how to start the engine. Now he ached too much to even try. Wearily, Ralph dragged himself over to the wall of his metal prison and sat down beside the apple core to rest his aching body. He leaned back against the side of the waste paper basket, closed his eyes, and thought of his Uncle Victor. Poor, nearsighted Uncle Victor. He, too, had landed in a metal waste paper basket, jumping there quite by mistake. Unable to climb the sides, he had been trapped until the maid came and emptying it, emptied him out with the trash. No one knew for sure what happened to Uncle Victor, but it was known that trash in the hotel was emptied into an incinerator. Ralph felt sad and remorseful, thinking about his Uncle Victor getting dumped out with the trash. His mother had been right, after all. His poor mother, gathering crumbs for his little brothers and sisters, while he, selfish mouse that he was, sat trapped in a metal prison from which the only escape was to be thrown away like an old gum wrapper. Ralph thought sadly of his comfortable home in the mouse hole. It was a good home, untidy but comfortable. The children who stayed in room 215 usually left a good supply of crumbs behind, and there was always water from the shirts hung to drip dry beside the wash basin. It should have been enough. He should have been content to stay home without venturing out into the world looking for speed and excitement. Outside in the hall, Ralph heard, heard footsteps and Matt, the bellboy, saying, these new people in 215 and 216, somehow they got the idea there are mice in the hotel. I just opened the window and told them the management wouldn't stand for it. Ralph heard a delighted laugh from the second floor maid, a college girl who was working for the summer session. Mice are adorable, but just the same, I hope I never find any in my rooms. I'm afraid of them. There were two kinds of employees at the Mountain View Inn, the regulars, none of them young, and the summer help, who were college students working during the tourist season. If you don't like mice, you better stay away from that knot hole under the window in room 215, advised Matt. 